Hello Madridistas and thanks for joining us on today's interesting episode as we talk you through some very important updates at Real Madrid. Kickstarting with today's agenda, Paris Saint-Germain believe Kylian Mbappe will have problems with Vinicius Jr. at Real Madrid and are not offering him a new contract at the end of the season. We are going to be talking you through that on this episode and shortly after that we will quickly turn our attention elsewhere as Real Madrid boss Carlo Ancelotti reflects on the team's 14th UEFA Champions League triumph, claiming it was a special season. We are also going to be talking to you today on this episode, so please stay tuned right up to the end. Do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. And you can also follow us on our Twitter page by clicking the Twitter link which is available in this video's description, so you do not miss on any Real Madrid update. A report from RS has emerged that Paris Saint-Germain will not offer Kylian Mbappe a new contract at the end of the season as they do not want to give him more money. This means the only possibility way he can continue beyond this season at Paris Saint-Germain is if he agrees to activate the additional year he has in his contract. As a result, the aforementioned outlet claims that Real Madrid now have a free way to sign Mbappe in the summer of 2024. Nevertheless, Paris Saint-Germain are still keen on retaining Mbappe in Paris to formulate a short-term future strategy centered around him. For that, a compelling sporting argument is set to unfold to persuade the star player to invoke the clause for an additional year. Mbappe has experienced discomfort during his time at Paris Saint-Germain due to his desire to occupy the left position, a spot always claimed by Neymar who held greater influence within the club. With Neymar now gone, the problem was resolved at Paris Saint-Germain, but those sitting in the higher offices at, Par at PSG tell Mbappe you are going to go to a place where you will have the same problem with Vinicius Jr. Meanwhile, Real Madrid continued to maintain a state of calm through to their consistent approach. They adhere to FIFA regulations and retain and refrain from talking from taking any action until January 1st. Amidst all these Paris Saint Germain decision not to extend a renewal offer works in favor of Real Madrid. Following the 10th episode Mbappe experienced at Paris Saint-Germain over the summer, particularly when Nasser Al-Khalifi took a first stance, calm has now been restored around the football star. However, persistently, there is no inclination to propose a fresh contract to, to Mbappe. Instead, the expectation is for him to adhere to the terms agreed upon the last renewal, and this development poses fewer hindrances for Madrid. Real Madrid currently enjoys a favorable position regarding the, their short-term strategy. Vinicius has blossomed. They have identified a key player in Bellingham and they have an alternative to Mbappe in Erling Haaland. Regardless, they have a clear path to persuade the Frenchman. So having concluded with that, we are going to quickly turn our attention elsewhere as manager Carlo Ancelotti reflects on Real Madrid's 14 UEFA Champions League title, claiming it was a special season. As we embark on the third international break of the new season, Real Madrid boss Carlo Ancelotti took the time out to give an interview where he talked about various things including the road that led Real Madrid 14 to have a Champions League. The Italian mastermind also talked about the evolution of football and the infusion of technology in the beautiful game among other things.
starting with Real Madrid for the UEFA Champions League title the Italian said. It was a special season, and little by little, a very good atmosphere was created in the dressing room. The young stars and the veterans helped each other because the veterans had a lot of ideas about what is collective and the young ones had a lot of patience. This allowed us to come out of very difficult moments. When you get to the final after what happened, the confidence levels was high and you just had to let everything continue like that, he added. And Salati, who has experienced success with Real Madrid before, drew parallel with the club's earlier achievement after the 10th Real Madrid won several Champions League in a row and I hope this streak will continue. I think this will continue because the future of the club is already written by how the team is formed, he added. The Italian coach talked about Real Madrid as a whole, turning in a symbolism of family to his beloved club. Real Madrid is a family and those of us who live in this club every day work in a big family, he said. It was all the affection from the fans. Working in a family environment makes you bring out the best in you. It is the biggest club in the world and the most historic, but I highlight the family atmosphere, the coach added. Having coached at the highest level for about three decades, Ancelotti has seen the game evolve over time. Now, in the final frontiers of his career, the Italian talked about the evolution of football. It has changed, it is changing, and it will change. The intensity, the rules, the training, and the methodology. It is a different sport from the one that was played in the 1990s, and the players are more professional than before. After 30 years, I am still here and that means I have adapted well to change," he said. Talking about the infusion of technology in modern football, the Madrid boss added, technology has changed our lives. My coaching staff told me I was old school. I love technology and I try to make it an enabler in my work. So having said that, we have come to the end of today's interesting episode. Thanks for following us right up to the end. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. See you next time.